Hip hop was an avenue for creative energy. It was a way to establish your identity in the community. It was a way to party and celebrate and meet people who were creating this art form in the late 70s and early 80s. The importance of this culture needs to be documented by the people who created it, by the people who live it, and there's an opportunity for us to do that. This is a replica of a flyer collection owned by DJ Dada Rock of the Fantastic Romantic Five MCs. If you look closely, you'll see the word disco, disco, disco. Disco was the prominent music in the black community in New York City at that time. Because all of these great DJs, they were all infiltrating these disco texts and turning them into hip hop clubs by the way they were manipulating the records. Hip hop took music from all genres and we created breaks and beats that people could dance to and rhyme to from all across the musical spectrum. This jacket specifically is dated back to 1985, New Year's Eve. A one-of-a-kind Keith Haring denim Lee jacket official. The fashion from back then, the spirit of it was originality. It wasn't what you wore, it was how you wore it and what you did to it. So what you're looking at here is what we call the breakbeat narrative. It will ask you a series of questions about your taste for hip hop music and your knowledge for hip hop culture. And then at the end of the survey, it will give you a free playlist from Spotify that you can download on your own device and leave with. The importance of integrating technology into the hip hop culture is critical to the development and the growth of its future and is very important in terms of documenting the history. Hip hop is 47 years old. It has really gone a long way in terms of successes, but in terms of history, it is very young. So having a national day recognized by the United States government to celebrate hip hop is a plus for everyone. I see our museum being one of the pillars of peace where you'll be able to go back in time and reflect on the very beginning of the culture. It's the most popular culture in America today, and I think it's gonna to continue to grow in that direction.